Oh, there's something else I'd like to point out, and I think it's the contributions that the children themselves make to the family. Of course, we wanted to send our children to Catholic schools, and in the Washington area, the, the tuitions, particularly in high schools, are quite expensive. But our children were all very good, and they all generously pitched in and worked very hard in summer jobs and even during the winter. And my one son, who went to the medical school, he paid for that entirely on his own, working several jobs while he was in medical school. And also the children have been very good, the older ones, in trying to assist and help the younger children in their educational expenses. So I think this is a tremendous asset. And I really admire the work that my children did, the hard work that they've done, and the way they've tried to help their younger siblings. Yeah. Did your children help them put themselves through school? I want to go back to your previous question and say that my husband is self-employed. And, uh, you know, when the economy is bad, uh, his business isn't booming either. We're, we're so very tightly, uh, there's no salary. You know, it, it goes up and it goes down. But I have found really, like the old Irish, you know, another mouth, another loaf. It always, it always does. Um, to the contrary, most of our children went to the public school and uh, did CCD, which is the uh, Catholic education on the weekends. And we decided that if we were going to send that number of children through CCD, we'd better be involved and help. And so for many years, uh, we were very active in the CCD and teaching on the weekend. My children felt somewhat like stepchildren. There were the Catholics, and then there were us, uh, unfortunately. The public school children are stepchildren in a lot of parishes. That's an interesting statement in that uh, I don't believe everyone knows uh, about the CCD. If you send your child to a public school so they get some of their Catholic education through CCD. On the weekends. Now, I think the, the, the best thing I could think would be that the religion class would be held in the public school, but of course they have absolute fits about that. But. Uh, the, the way that it works now is that you go on the weekend or on a weeknight. Mm -hmm. You might wonder why I ask this question, but well, we wouldn't ask it anyway. How many children did you have? Seven. Seven? Mm -hmm. Twelve. Twelve. Ten. Ten. Mm -hmm. Family planning. Did you do any family planning? <laughs> well, I would say that uh, when my wife and I, that was one of the things, before we got married, we just both wanted to have a large family, and I believe we originally were thinking of having 12 children. We didn't have 12, but I don't believe we actually did any kind of, uh, I don't, in a certain sense, I don't like the term family planning, even a natural family planning, although I certainly think you have to be responsible, and there must be some responsibility. But I'd say we would never have considered uh, contraception. My wife thinks that this would be a, I think a poisonous way, a terrible way of a degrading way of treating your own sexuality, your own fertility. And I would see this, I can't see someone putting condoms on and so forth, because if you want to love someone tenderly, you don't go putting gloves on, no. unless you want to prevent the transmission of a disease. And I don't think that fertility is a disease. So I think these are disgusting and barnyard ways of uh, uh, treating the problem. And that, first of all, God has given us an intelligence, and we know, I think most people recognize, that when one engages in genital behavior, that there's a possibility of having a child, and you shouldn't be too surprised if you do. Um, I think there are different, you know, I think sometimes we had a child, we weren't expecting one. I would call that not an unplanned pregnancy, but a surprise pregnancy. And uh, I think that it's always a sort of a surprise here, and it's a gift. But you should, there is, there is a, a sense of responsible parenthood, and certainly people should not procreate children for whom they cannot give the proper care, and so forth. So one must do that, but certainly not through contraceptive methods. From what I've been reading in the uh, various Catholic papers and others, that uh, they are beginning to promote natural family planning, which has nothing to do with. Uh, uh, the old rhythm methods or whatever. Right. And I think that's something they should probably talk more about because uh, if you trust in the Lord, uh, he'll take care of you. Mm -hmm. uh, another question I'd like to ask, uh, did you do things together? Like in our case, uh, we always went camping. 
and we did a lot of that. <laughs> it was quite a chore to get everybody together, but nevertheless, uh, mm -hmm. we made it a point for 20-some years to do everything as a family unit. Did you do any of that? Well, <clears throat> we did uh, not, our thing was music. And so we, we, we went into that a lot. And so they all played, eventually we ended up performing. And that took a lot of time. And that was our big family thing. Other than that, it was just visiting all together for three months out of the year, grandmas, and having a ball there. You mentioned a word which leads me to another question, talents. Uh, in my case, uh, each of our children have different talents. Mm -hmm. Musicians, that's something I could never understand. I love music, but I can't play an instrument. My children all can play different instruments, and why, I don't know. But in your case, then, did you have any particular talents in your children that you I would saw? say each one, and since I have 12, mm -hmm. I would monopolize the conversation. <laughs> but yes, and, and that awe of thinking from the same parents, from the same household, given the same milieu, these very different people with these wonderful, wonderful gifts. It's just amazing. For example, in our case, we have two sons that are nuclear physicists and one a priest. Mm -hmm. That gives you an idea of what I'm uh, mm -hmm. thinking about. Uh, they may all have different talents and uh, mm -hmm. any, anything particular in your area, Bill? Well, I agree with Mary in here that God's blessed our children, all of our children, I think, with good intelligence. They all have their own individual unique talents. So we're just very grateful for that. And I also think that uh, they have been um, humble enough, too, and they're not the type who are bragging about their abilities and so forth, but simply make good use of the gifts that God has given them. 